This thing right here, $35,000. And that's what these absolute maniacs want me to try and do. What's up guys, welcome back to another episode and welcome to the incredibly hot Lake Havasu. We're out here in the middle of the desert, but on this little piece of paradise. And the reason I'm here is because you guys know that I am a sea -Doo guy. You guys know that I have ridden these PWCs now for a long time and I love them. I have never ridden in my life a stand-up before and I want to learn how to. So. These absolute legends here are gonna make that a possibility today. Now, I can't promise how good I'm gonna be, but I'm gonna try my best. So, first of all, we've got Anna Glennon, world champion how many times? One time world champion, nine time national champion. That's good enough for me. And we've got Chris Hagist here, who is the mad scientist behind these absolute weapons, and also have a few titles to your name as well, don't you? I do, I'm a national and world champion. How many times? Uh, one world champion and several national championships. More, and I, how many nationals? More than nine? Uh, no, no, I think uh, she's got <laughs> Have you got him beat? Oh, I gotta go back to work. <laughs> I have been learning all about Chris's antics. This guy is an absolute wild man on anything PwC related. But the whole point of being out here today, like I said, is to learn to ride this. And from the very brief conversation we've had about this, what I realize is, that's gonna be me later. Just like 10 times slower. What I realize about this is that essentially, this is like teaching somebody to drive in a Formula One car. You make the most badass, stand-up jet skis in the world, correct? Absolutely. So yep. what is this? Far not. This is the Pro Force 3.0. It's the 2023 model. And what makes it so special? The fact that you can take such an average person and make them feel like am I, a pro. Am I that average? That's, that's so, and you hear it? It was such an average person. So this is a 1500 cc engine that puts out 170 horsepower. So, mine, 1600 cc's, also makes 170 horsepower. That's right, yep. So this package is uh, complete weight with gas, under 500 pounds. Okay, so you got me beat by about 350 pounds right there. That's right, yeah. <laughs> so 350 pounds by, uh, divide that by the horsepower, that's a lot. You were showing me earlier at the factory, you guys actually have a patented technology that makes these as good as they are. Can you just tell everybody briefly what that is? Yeah, so most watercraft are top and the bottom and they get glued together. We are five pieces to make a multi-level riding surface. And what you get is you get the fun of a small ski, but the stability of a big ski and big choppy water. And so the other thing to note about this, given that, like I said, I've never ridden one of these before, not only am I learning on a Formula One car, but this thing right here, $35,000. I haven't had to sign anything, so I think if any, I'll just take off and we'll be good. I, there's two deposits right there on the trailer, so. <laughs> that is true, and one of them is brand new as well, so. This one's on the Mark Hahn, this one's kind of been through, but that like, one's brand new. Those look pretty fun, so I might take you up on that offer. 100%, 100%. So let's get into this. What's gonna happen is Anna here is actually gonna be my instructor for the day. So if I'm not very good, it's her fault, not mine. Uh, and then I believe we might have a little, um, <laughs> she knows what's going. We had a little wager at the end. Stick around for that, but um, it involves our riding boots and a four loco. You're not going to want to miss it. <laughs> so embarrassingly, to do this, I'm going to be wearing my Jet Tribe life jacket, and the reason that's embarrassing is because uh, it's got a name on the back, which means that all of these people are going to be able to see me riding like an absolute loser <laughs> with a race number and be like. Why? And the reason why, if you're watching this and you're like, oh, I saw that guy out there riding slow, 
is because I did race this in the Mark Hunt 300. Thank you very much. And won my category. Yes, there's only three people in it. Shut up. Doesn't matter. I still won. You're going to tuck the key underneath this button right here. Have you fallen off your CD before? No, never. Okay, so then this is going to be for you. <laughs> oh, look at that. Super simple. Does it matter that I've, I've basically filled the whole thing with water or will that come out as soon as we start riding? Okay. <laughs> it's so How the hell did she just keep it up right like that? I'm literally fighting this thing. Right, speed and power. So it seems like trying to ride it slow for me is like trying to ride a fully loaded BMW GS at two miles per hour. I'm like this. As soon as it starts to get on plane, it's so comfy and so nice. Are you ready to stand? No, but go on then. After failing miserably at my first attempt to stand, I remembered that speed and power seemed to help before, so Anna and I headed back out and with a bit more throttle, I had another go and did manage to get up. Everything felt great until I looked back and realised I was quickly approaching two guys racing on the track. <laughs> I got up to basically like this. Okay. First. Uh -huh. And then I just sort of, I didn't try and go up all in one go. Yep, okay. So I just like got Slow my and steady. flat foot first and then got up. I spent the next half an hour attempting to get to grips with the stand up. I was surprised at just how unnatural it felt compared to my sea do. And I was also surprised by just how much hard work it is to stay standing. After a lap or two, I was exhausted. I already had a lot of respect for stand-up riders, but having tried it myself, these guys and girls are absolutely incredible to do what they do. I fell off going straight. As I got more seat time, stand time, it definitely started to feel a little bit more comfortable, but every now and again, the ski would remind me that I definitely didn't have the skills to pay the bills and it would spit me off for a swim. All right, so just having a little five minutes. Um, that was equal parts easier and harder than I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be harder to stand up. I thought it was gonna be easier to stay standing up. As my instructor, teacher extraordinaire. Please, B minus, C, D. Um, I don't know if I could assign a letter grade at oh. the moment, but we'll see that about bad? that. That bad? Um, but honestly, I was, I don't want to say pleasantly surprised either because I didn't know what to expect. Um, but we were out there and we had agreed that we were going to ride on our knees a little bit longer, meet across the beach and then try to stand up from a stop. And so I, I get to the meeting point and I turn around and he's already standing. So I actually was elated to see that. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, then you may have seen me take a video of someone that had one of these in their cars. Does this person have a dipping source holster? Like a vent mounted dipping source holster. I think that's what that is. And I posted up like, what the hell is this tactical dip clip? And Anna back there responded, not only that she knew what it was, but also that she knew the company name and more importantly, that they were following her on Instagram. She tried to get sponsored by them. Apparently they wouldn't sponsor her, which shame on you dip clip. So I'm gonna sponsor her with these. I know, I know we haven't done our hot laps yet, but I have a gift for you. As long as it's not oh my god! Wow! <laughs> oh, this is so exciting! <laughs> okay, so, so. <laughs> you can tell them the story. So, I saw these on Shark Tank. They're air conditioner clips for your like dipping sauces for your fries and your chicken nuggets. And I saw them on Shark Tank. 
So I followed them and I tried to get them to sponsor me. By the way, they still follow you back. They still follow me, but they haven't they haven't hit me up about sponsorship. All right, well, I don't want to talk for too long because I do need to get back out there and I do need to get some laps. However, first, Chris right here is going to go and show us how it's really done because at the end of the day, this is the man that has put his own blood, sweat and tears into creating these absolute weapons for me to then go out and go and drive it like Miss Daisy. So I want him to show you what it's really like out there. We're going to time his lap. Then what we're going to do is we're going to send Anna out world champ versus world champ and we're going to see who can do this course the quickest and the loser has to drink a four loco not from a shoe just just chug a four loco that's it that's all we have to do i was looking forward to the shoe okay <laughs> all right shoe it is shoe it is uh and then uh ours still stands as well so you quite possibly will have two four logos to chug 100% I'm chugging the four loco, looking at how shit I am. But anyway, I want you to go out there and send it, please. Yes, how confident are you in your ability to set a faster lap than Chris? Honestly, not very confident, only because Chris, this is Chris's whole life, is he built that watercraft, he's been working on it. It's been like a culmination of several years worth of work. So like this guy knows this watercraft in and out, rides it all the time. I have ridden a Pro Force 3.0 one time. Hold on, but you're doing it on your ski. Oh, on my ski? Yeah. Um, I don't know. I think I think the Pro Force 3.0 is going to be faster. So I am going to have... Okay, so so what you're saying is it's down to the ski, not the rider. It, it'll be tough. I think Chris, Chris has a lot more experience than I do, and he definitely has more manpower than I do as far as, like, muscling the ski around the track. Um, and he's going to have more horsepower than I do. But if Chris messes up hard enough, then maybe I can squeak in a fast enough. like seeing how I'm riding that thing and then seeing him ride it almost I like is there is there like a children's stand-up jet ski um, maybe we can put me on that a, I mean there's beginner class no no, no. I mean race. I mean an actual no no I don't want to race I, I mean like what is the most basic stand-up jet ski I could get um if you got a vintage ski that'd probably be at least like the most entry level because it's the slowest one that's what I need With this $35,000 race Formula One ski is not it. <laughs> what a savage. That was cold too. You didn't even warm up. <laughs> exactly. Look how defeated you look. <laughs> All right, Chris, you got a nervous. How'd it feel? You should be. I feel good. <laughs> you look good. You I look like fast. Yeah, I gotta get to that weight saving. Someone's got some confidence. 104. Whoa. Whoa. All right, go get your stuff on and stop making excuses. Who's in charge of the stuff? Thank you. What's the default? What's the what's the handicap? One, there is no handicap. No. This is, My ski is the handicap. 
she, she I, you said that this would have been a handicap. Do you want to do it on this? Well, it's hard because I don't have experience on this one. So that one I'm more comfortable on. Okay. But I never ride this one. It's your choice. I'm going to ride mine. All right. I don't want to look silly on the camera. <laughs> Dude, that was so fast. Yeah. So I was saying to her, I don't even want to go back out on it now because I look like such an idiot. And I feel bad for poorly advertising that ski. <laughs> So Anna is out for her warm-up lap, even though technically she has been warmed up all afternoon. You only got one lap. Yeah. So, but... She needs like two buoys to get back here and start. So how do you feel? You think you're quicker? You know what? She's starting to make me nervous right now. Really? Because I know how fast she is and she's going to make a point out of this, I yeah. think. Oh yeah. Because if she could say she beat me lap time, then I'll never hear the end of it. <laughs> so that's kind of my greatest fear of the future punishments. <laughs> Get this over with. <laughs> How you feeling? Oh, I'm fine. Feeling good? Oh yeah. Love so the don't, don't tell Chris, but he's nervous. <laughs> he's like, she's got me nervous. She's way faster than he's like, there's a reason she's the world champ. Oh no, he's not saying that 100%, shit. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. This is what a four loco will do. You throw a four loco into the mix and that's it. I don't like getting beat by girls, but it is Anna <laughs> Glennon, you know? Like she's, she's worthy for sure. Good. It does you know, look good. Obviously, because it has pro watercraft handling parts on it. Oh, is that what it is? It's totally that's that. What of it course. Is. You know, that's making the difference, right? Yeah. And stop. All right, we have the time. Oh, I'm not going to tell you guys until she gets back. Should we make a sweater a little yeah. bit? All right, looks at, looks at, looks at. I'm just going to. I'm just gonna race it. I think you should do it again. I don't think he, it's right. There was, yeah, it, that can't be right. It just can't, it can't be right. It doesn't, the time just looks wrong. Stop, what is this? This is not fair. Her ski is faster than mine. Right, and she, and do you know how much she weighs? Has she told you? Yeah, she's like 90 pounds wet. Right, that's what I've heard. I'm like 180, I just her had a beer. Her doesn't lie, I what know. does it say? 109. Oh, that's not bad. <laughs> I I don't know how, but when I got to the first turn, I had the biggest glob of mud on my oh, foot. That means that you have one four loco shoey today. Damn. That's number one. You may have to do a second one if I can set a hot lap as well. We have to decide your hot lap. Our times together. Yeah. You have what you have to be. Yeah. That's probably fair. That I seems think, fair. Right? right? So that would be 103. Two. Was it 103? No, 104. 104. Plus yes. 109. Already lowered it. 109. So, so that's. Yeah, do that? the math. It's 113. Two. two. Okay. 213. Sure. That's probably fair. 213? Wasn't there some decimals in there though? There was, yeah, it was 0.9 for her and it was 0 three. 3 for me. Okay, so that's, so another that's second. like a second, yeah. So, so 215. 215. And I like, honestly, round. I like rounding numbers up. So like yep. 220. Why not? Sounds. Yeah. That's Chris's race number. Oh, there you go. It is. Okay, well, it's fortuitous. It's 220. Yep. If I can do this course quicker than 220, you have I to am do. so screwed. You have to do two shoes. You have to do two four logo shoes. Come on, there's like a thousand people out here now. So it all came down to this. If I set a lap time quicker than two minutes and 20 seconds, Anna would have to do another four loco shoey. Being completely honest though, my concern wasn't beating that time. It was whether I could even complete a full lap without falling off again. I did have a game plan though. Although it wasn't going to be exciting and it definitely went against my speed and power theory from earlier in the day. But if I took a slow and steady approach to this, I was sure victory would be mine. It's already at 4.30. 
42 seconds. I think the spade is in your hand. You can hit that stopwatch whenever you want. That is true. I want to give him the benefit of the doubt, though. I'm genuinely curious how fast he can get around the track. I'm seriously impressed. Never ride a stand-up, and he's doing the track. Yes, that, that alone is hard for a lot of people that have been riding for a long time. <laughs> and that's all the credit I'm going to give him. <laughs> that's it. That's where it ends. I don't know, like somewhere over here? Like this way? I don't know. Fuck it, that'll do. Round there. Oh, a bit straight. Here this way. Oh, he's lost. Oh, he's lost. Now he's going the wrong way. Uh, let's just, we'll just miss that one. We'll just go to this one. Alright, oh, there's somebody on the track. Okay, perfect. I'll use this to my advantage. God, I'm exhausted. What do you think? I think I'm proud of myself for not falling off. That is fair. Um, I think, I think it's time for us to do a four loco shoeing together. Together? That's what I think. What do you think though, real? Let me know. Uh, I had 220 to beat. I'm gonna say I did a 229. 220.19, but you skipped the buoy. No, there was there was traffic no, in the in the No, there was there was people in the track. I couldn't for safety. For safety. Did you know that you also got lost? No, I didn't. Yes, you did. How do you know you were here? I have action replay footage that proves that I went through every buoy. I hope there's you like we were like, oh no, he's way off track. And Where? then we're like, oh now he's going the wrong way. Where? Honestly, with the way the sun is reflecting right now, it's just it's and but you because you're short, like you can't see, so he'll tell you. I, went, I don't know. It does sound I, like an illusion, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to back her I up mean, on this. Chris one, did lay the track out himself. So well, I actually, so I wanted know. to talk to you. So over there, I think one of your buoys has floated away. Okay. I looked for it. Oh. But I, but it just wasn't there. And you still got two twenty. <laughs> all right, let's do a four logo. Oh. Right. There we go. One. Two. Nicely chilled. Oh no! I pick, almost just went. <laughs> pick, pick your poison. You want gold I, or you want? For my first four loco, I might as well go with sour, the, like, sour flavor because I hate. So, sour. Chris, this is a four loco. Oh, nice. I can't believe you. I've never, never heard of this. this. Yeah. So, if you guys don't know what a four loco is, uh, it's I'm well, I'll, I'll tell you exactly this. what it is. It is a premium, <laughs> premium malt beverage with artificial flavor, caramel color, or caramel, as these guys call it, uh, and sucralose. So it's got all of the best things in it that you definitely want in your body. Oh, it's also 13.9% alcohol. So there is that. Um, I just also want to say, we are now back at the shop, safely parked up for the night, trucks over there, stay in there, just, just so that we're all clear. We're all good, we got off the lake. No drinking, riding, it's bad, don't do it. Do dumb things responsibly. Exactly. Could I have a hose pipe? Because I have so much mud in my boots from every time I fell off. Let's that take I... it to the sink. Okay, I feel like if, not because yeah, I'm trying right. to puss out, but I feel like if I drank out of my shoe, might die. I don't know <laughs> what is in that mud, but it's slimy. <laughs> Let's not try and die of some exotic like Havasu disease right now. Oh, also, in case Chris wasn't cool enough, uh, he has a matte black tour bus, because why wouldn't you? Okay, which one smells the least worst? I mean, look at all of the crap on there. <sighs> and technically, I don't actually have to do this because I did do a 220. Yeah, there you go. All right, that's easy. Oh, that was, a, that was a gentle wash, right? Oh, yeah. I would have given you more than that, but... Yeah, I'm going... I'm, I'm making sure that there's no sand in here. 
honestly it's probably grosser to just to drink straight four loco than it is to drink whatever just came out of my shoe But we didn't even talk about this. Yeah, we okay, so we forgot to talk about something. Let me show you really quickly before we go do this. I know I'm keeping you guys hanging on the shoey, but stay tuned. This right here, so this is one of Chris's hulls, full carbon fiber, absolutely awesome. Look at this like brown leather trim in this, it's absolutely gorgeous. But what is most cool about this is that it actually has a supercharged Sea-Doo motor in it. So this thing is running, say the 260, 270. So it's not the current gen of supercharged motors. They're 300, you should put one of those in. 300 horsepower, that'd be fun. And so the one I just rode was 170, and this is 100 horsepower more. <laughs> That's stupid, that is stupid. There's also a story about Anna riding this for the first time. <laughs> She's like, mm -mm. So this is essentially the top flight, doesn't get better, doesn't get more sendy or showy offy. Like I said, the full carbon, we've got that supercharged motor. Look, we've even got the gauges up here. So fuel, oil, boost, that's the most important one. I actually did get a video of him starting it up earlier, so I'll put that in right now so you can hear what it sounds like. It's wild, it sounds like a sports bike. Okay, so we take this, we cheers, we pour this in until this is full, and then we, we cheers the shoe, and then down the hatch, and try not to get any sort of weird disease. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, there's a lot of holes in this shoe. Oh, she's in already? We didn't even cheers. Drain like I wanted it to. <laughs> oh, it's so bad. Your shoe's gonna be so this sticky. Is so gross. Do you, do you wanna trade? You wanna try my gross one? <laughs> oh, it's so disgusting. I'm not even drinking. Oh, your can's shit. a lot lighter than mine. <laughs> Did you even drink any? I did. This is, this that is was a full. lot for me. That hit me good already. Can you taste the alcohol in that one? That tastes too much like a Red Bull. Oh, That's very with, with like a horrible like after. Okay, okay. Chris, now you drink. Both. Uh, yeah, now you get to try. <laughs> you said your voice. <laughs> Don't try him. Don't, Don't turn him. Chris for a good time. Oh, he yeah. Oh God. Oh God. Oh, God. <laughs> See, this is how they get you because the first time you do them, you think you're cool and you chug and then you die. That's delicious. Oh God. Said this no one bad. ever. This is the guy that pumps it's... Red Bull and Rockstar. <laughs> He's doing into the his other feet. one. If I, oh God. Yeah, so quickly before we go, I know I've been keeping you on now. This is like an 80 minute video at this point. Uh, we should just live stream it. Uh, so, so Chris told me a story. So to give you some insight into the type of epic stuff that Chris has done on jet skis, he raced the Long Beach to Catalina, where they basically go as fast as they can from Long Beach out to Catalina and back. And it is wild, across the open ocean. One of his teammates or a guy that he knew that was racing way back in, you said in the 90s? 2008, okay. somewhere in there. And he was saying that one of your competitors got off course, motor blew up or something, yep, started bro. to drift, yep. help wasn't coming, didn't know no. what to do. Yeah. So he took the factory toolkit, unbolted the motor mounts, threw the motor into the ocean, which I don't condone, but <laughs> needed to make space so that he could climb into the hull and wait for rescue. And you said he washed up in like Newport. Yeah, like four hours later. He didn't think, he was like, one of those Gilgan's Island things. And you guys wonder why I have all the safety gear when I do that trip. No it's because I don't yeah. want to unbolt my engine. I also wouldn't know how to even start with unbolt <laughs> my engine. I'll be screwed. That's why I've got all the things. So actually one of the things that I also haven't told you is that Chris is doing tours now where you can come out and you can ride these things. So think about it. You go to Italy, you rent a Ferrari, you drive through the mountains, you get to have lunch, you get to do all that. Well, if you want to do the same thing, but way different, which is coming to Havasu and riding that absolutely mental beast, you can do that. They just go to the website and they can sign up for the yep. tours there. Standupjetskirental.com. It's as simple as that. So we can go upriver, we can go downriver, we can do laps at Body Beach like you got to do today. So there's tons of ways to experience like the coolest jet ski in the world in the capital of the world. Wow, that's awesome. And do people need to know how to ride them? Are novices like me allowed? Absolutely, yeah. yeah? Anybody's allowed. Because these are actually the easiest stand-ups you'll ever ride. 
and so I think this one would have been the easiest ever. <laughs> it probably would have been a little ride, bit not the race ski. Not you the fast one at first, right? <laughs> Take you the black fast. diamond and throw you over the top of the hill. <laughs> exactly. That's how you're gonna learn. Exactly, exactly. So. Alright, so it doesn't matter your experience. Nope. Expert, novice. That's right. Come out, you'll show them how to That's do right. it. That's right, yep. We pay for all the gas, we host, we connect you with like some cool people and you get the experience of a lifetime you don't get anywhere else in the world. Awesome. I will link that in the description below. So if you want to check that out, which I highly suggest you do, absolutely do it. To summarize my experience, obviously going from riding sit downs, having zero experience five hours ago, six hours ago, to now having ridden the supercar of the jet ski world. Um, it was so much harder than I thought and also so much easier than I thought. It was easier to get up than I thought it was gonna be. It was harder to stay standing than I thought it was gonna be. So it was like, I got that little bit of confidence. I'm like, yeah, look at me, I'm up. And then pff, I was gone. And I feel like that learning curve of getting used to the handling and then starting to build layer on layer and then getting quicker and quicker. I know for a fact that I'm gonna lie in bed tonight and I'm gonna be like, I want to go back out tomorrow. Like I want to, I want to keep That's going. I want to keep <laughs> building it. Yeah. Yep. So if yep. you guys have never ridden a stand up before, you're a sit down person like I am, and you want to come and learn, do it. I highly recommend it. So much fun. You will be exhausted. I mean, I consider myself pretty fit on the water. I can ride that to and from Catalina till the cows come home and not be sore. I did one lap of that track incredibly slowly. <laughs> and I was done. Yeah. Done. Toast. So guys, I think that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you guys for everything. So yeah. much fun. Thank you for teaching me. Thank you for letting me ride him. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe if you aren't subscribed because I'd love to see you again. Give this a like, give this a follow, give it a thumbs up. Do all of the things. Most importantly, remember, until next time, don't know anything I wouldn't do. See ya. <laughs>